Okay, if we take a look at the comparative balance sheet, the upper part you see current assets differences. So this year's balance is $73,000, $90,000. Last year is $73,000. So there's a $17,000 increase in accounts receivables. This is the part that we think of it as. The other side, there's increase in sales revenue or service revenue that has nothing to do with cash sales or cash service revenue. So the $17,000 later was subtracted in the state of the cash flows. Okay, so earlier we had depreciation, we added back, gains we subtracted, and here the $17,000 of accounts receivable increase, we will subtract $17,000. If we move on to inventory, inventory last year ends 145, this year is 143. The $2,000 of current asset decrease, we will add back the $2,000. Any current asset increase compared to last year, under cash flow, we would subtract it. Under current asset decrease, we would add it back. So the direction is opposites. Okay, just think of the example of accounts receivable, that's the easiest one. Last year, accounts receivable balance is lower than this year. That means this year you made more sales on account or service revenue on account. So those on account one is the part that we want to tease out from net income. So that's the part that has nothing to do with cash. Okay, the accounts current asset increase part, if we compare a certain account compared to last year, current asset increase, think of the idea as um, basically accounts receivable again. If we have additional accounts receivables, if we have lower accounts receivable compared to last year, that basically means we collected some of the money. Okay, so we will add that $2,000. Okay, if we look at accounts payable, last year 50000 this year 90000 Accounts payable increase, that means we had something that we purchased on account or some of the expenses that we listed as accounts payable. We didn't actually pay it off. Okay, so an increase in current liabilities, we will add that $40,000. So think of the idea of certain type of expense, for example, utility expense. It was subtracted in net income, but it's not a cash expense yet, so we add that $40,000. Okay, accrued liabilities, last year is $10,000, this year is $5,000. So the difference is $5,000 current liability um, decrease basically means you use up the cash to pay off the liabilities. That's why your liability account reduced. So cash dollar amount here, it was subtracted. to be the 2000. Why is it Why is it the what? Because last year in balance is 145, this year's balance is 143. So the the right side column is all the net differences. Okay? So for accounts receivables, this year is 70, last year is 73, this year is 90, net difference is 17,000 up. Increase in that account. Okay, so any current asset increase, just think of the example of accounts receivables. Other examples sometimes is harder to understand. Any current asset increase, accounts receivable increase, sales revenue increase. But sales revenue is incorporated in net income which that part has nothing to do with cash, so that's why we subtract the, I'm sorry, where it is. Well, the bracket is around the 17,000, sorry. This part here is around 17,000. Any current asset increase, you will subtract in cash flows, okay? Because current asset increase, at the same time, sales revenue or service revenue increase, and this is not cash sales. 
So the direction of asset increase and decrease is opposite direction toward cash flow increase and decrease. Okay, so the blue arrow there is the cash flow effect. Yes. Subtracted in statement of cash flows. Yes. And then inventory, over all the effect inventory is dedu deducted from compared to last year. So this is another account other than cash, um, but it's current asset. So current asset decrease, think about the accounts receivable example again. If we decrease accounts receivable, that basically means we collected cash, right? So any decrease in current asset, we added to statement of cash flows. Okay, once again, for liabilities, it's more straightforward. Liability, think about accounts, accounts payable. If accounts payable compared to last year decrease, that basically means we paid off some of the accounts payable. So any decrease amount, we also have a bracket around 5,000. Any increase in liability, we would add to statement of cash flows. Okay, because increase in liability, at the same time, certain type of expense is increased while you journalize it. This expense was subtracted here, but has nothing to do with cash expense. So this part we added back with $40,000.